What is going on, Lunatics? Luna Classic did not have the pump that I told you I think it was going to happen. There was a reason for that. What was that reason? Well, the reason was because Terraform Labs agreed to a $4.4 billion penalty for their role in the collapse of the $40 billion Terra Luna fiasco. Where does that leave Luna Classic? It actually leaves it in a good place. However, I'll have to get into that if you just give me a moment of your time to kind of walk you through uh, what is going on. So let me break this down for you. Remember, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. And this is sponsored to you by Terraport. If you are looking for uh, trading on chain, then use Terraport. Uh, if you're looking for some risk-based gaming, Terra Casino. I'm actually in Terra Casino right now, uh, checking it out. We're going to talk a little bit about it today. Um, however, let's get into it, uh, how this is breaking out. First of all, $4.47 billion settlement with bankrupt crypto firm Terraform Labs. What does that mean? Well, uh, Duquan's ordered to pay $200 million. Duquan has said publicly he has no money. However, the government has been tracking his crypto wallets and they know exactly what he has, where he has it, etc., etc. Now, what does this mean more broadly? So more broadly, it means that Terraform Labs, while not being deceptive, just being quiet, and using the system was doing just that, using the system. Duquan, in the meantime, has a bunch of money, and he's been kind of telling people, I have no money, I have no money, but his wallets are being tracked, and the government said, uh, by the way, uh, yeah, you have money. So where does that leave everybody? Well, uh, Duquan was, obviously he was guilty in some fashion, so they have to pay the consequence. And by the way, when this was going on, I was certainly expecting the best possible outcome for everything and hoping that perhaps there was a reasonable sort of settlement that would cause a dramatic pump in Luna Classic because people get excited. No matter what, there is closure in one level here. You got nine days before the contest is over. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away 100,000 USD worth of Pepe. Not only that, we've got a mobile app coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also launching a public partnership with a strong team. Uh, it's going to result in one of the best exchanges on the market. Also, you're going to get some unique marketing information from Cryptonomy if you sign up today, and you'll get some trading opportunities for free. Cryptonomy.finance giving away $100,000 worth of USD Pepe. This is going to take you through a 100 billion. I think Pepe is going to be the first 100 billion uh, crypto in meme coins. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Sign up today. Helps me out tremendously. Cryptonomy.finance. Don't forget it. And that's going to be bullish for Luna Classic. And again, I'm going to explain why. Just stick with me on this. So $4.5 billion, $4.47 billion settlement in total is happening. But where does that leave us? Well, Chris Amani, who is now the, has replaced Duquan as the CEO of uh, Terraform Labs, says, with the proposed settlement now public, I can finally share some details about what is next with Terraform Labs. Terraform Lab was always intended to dissolve at some point, and that point is now. We will be winding down operations completely. Special thanks to the lunatics who supported us through this process, and thanks to the Terraform Lab teams. I'm incredibly proud that we were able to hold this company and ecosystem together and continue to build innovative products through all of this. We were well positioned to accelerate things if we had won the trial, but unfortunately we lost and as a result can no longer operate. Evan Dox will shortly post a community proposal to burn all of Terraform Labs unvested Luna. Anything that remains vested in our wallets will be burned by Terraform Labs. The community will need to take over ownership of the chain. I believe there are a couple teams and devs who want to do this and you should be seeing information in the forums soon. So they have a plan in place. Uh, our products will continue to run while we wind down and we will run a process to sell Pulsar Finance, Station Wallet, and Enterprise DAO. We have a lot more planned for the coming weeks and I'll be able to communicate more once this has been approved by the courts. I'll be here for the full wind down to ensure this goes smoothly. So why is this bullish for Luna Classic? Well, it's very simple. Luna is about to become a 
zombie chain, if you will. They attempted to just recreate the process over here. It wasn't successful. And now what are they doing? Um, they're giving it to the community. Well, the community already has Lunk. So what does this mean broadly? Well, I think what that means is that a lot of Luna people are going to disappear because they're over there and they're holding because they thought, you know, um, Luna would be possibly a revival at some point. And now that it's not going to be, if you will, a lot of people are going to start to look at Luna Classic again and say, hey, you know what? Let me put some another, let me put some glasses on. Let me check this thing out one more time. Let me do my research and figure out uh, what's best for me. And guess what? Um, Luna probably uh, is going to be done. And Luna Classic will be um, uh, uh, <laughs> will be doing some of this. Now, um, the, the idea here is they're going to have to um, burn everything and this is this is where it gets interesting right so the proposed judgment satisfies all four city group factors etc etc et but it says defendants to burn or destroy private keys in terraform's possession to wallets or blockchain assets holding ust mir luna rap luna and luna 2.0 this means they're holding a significant supply of luna classic as well so <clears throat> uh more broadly uh how much of that is in there um, 275 billion Luna Classic, 178 million USTC. It's taken years to burn this much. Binance burning one to two billion per month. We're about to burn 275, almost 276 billion. 27 million in Luna Classic will be liquidated by Terraform Labs, not by selling but by having to close it and burn it off, which will allow the re remaining supply to be reduced, thus increasing the value of your remaining holdings. Also, USTC, 178 million, which is also a significant amount, but that's going to be gone. That's going to be um, uh, burned up as well. And notwithstanding the foregoing, et cetera, et cetera, uh, shall be permitted to dispose of crypto assets within the bankruptcy estate's possession or control. Uh, so let's see how this goes with this. Defendant shall otherwise burn or destroy private keys in Terraform's possession uh, by holding Terraform crypto assets. So um, these things are going to disappear, right? Um, they're burning everything. And that's going to be incredibly bullish for Luna Classic Chain, at least right now. At this moment, this is a big and, and bold move. But let's move on here a little bit. Uh, people should be pretty excited right now. Uh, you can see that there are there's a little bit of enthusiasm for this. And look, we're putting, you feel like you're putting a positive spin on it, but there is no negative spin for Luna Classic. There's closure right now. Again, I thought there was going to be a pump. I really thought that the settlement would be in the neighborhood of 500 million, maybe a billion, that there would be some kind of um, finality to it. And there is finality, but it was a positive finality. And we didn't get that. We got uh, the most negative sort of finality that there could possibly be uh, in, in context. However, long term, again, we're going to burn a significant amount of supply. These are the things that we need to happen. And guess what? We're going to have something like that happen. So um, very good news right now for Luna Classic. Let's keep moving on. So 14% um, upsurge in trading volume. Uh, are we targeting 0 0.002? I don't think so yet. Uh, three zeros, uh, three zeros, 13 was my goal and my target. I still think that that's in line. So um, there's an article up on CoinGape indicating as such. Now moving on from there, um, you know, just, just your standard stuff on Commonwealth. Nothing really to um, have to consider. As far as price action goes, I mean, listen, we just had the worst possible news allegedly that could possibly happen. And you know what happened to the price? Uh, this was the, the price yesterday. Uh, now, by the way, this happened. Um, at the same time, the market lost $80 billion yesterday in a, in a, a, a significant sort of dump. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a couple days ago, my bad. Uh, but a couple days ago. The, so in the last bunch of hours here up to yesterday, really haven't dipped. Uh, it, it's, it's been a little bit. But I mean, again, you're looking at 4% down, but when you look broadly across the market dog with hats down 7%, Pepe's down 7%, um, 
X versus down 14% going down this list. There's plenty of different tokens that are coming down. This is just a broader market doing what it do. When we get the significant burns right here, you're going to see some enthusiasm in this blockchain start to build. So my target doesn't change because my target was in the positive anyway. So 13.5, I think, is the next impulse move. Might take a few days, but people are about to find out about all of these burns and stuff like that over the next couple of days. And you're going to start seeing people get into this blockchain versus uh, the Luna blockchain uh, because they're going to see people building, et cetera, et cetera. And then this big impulse move is going to be the, the next thing in the broader term. Again, that takes it to three zeros 22. Um, is three zeros two in the cards? Yes, it is. But we're not exactly there yet. So, uh, and by the way, I do have to say, I got this one wrong. I, like normally I don't get these wrong. Normally when I tell you something is going to happen or I'm thinking that it's going to happen, I mean, normally it happens because these charts have been, again, fairly predictable uh, and, and easy to judge. This is the first time with this, you know, again, I'm putting a positive spin on what happened with Luna uh, and Terraform Labs anyway, and the, the most negative outcome was the outcome. So, you know, take that for what you will. Now, uh, moving along and continuing on, Coin Hall, we've got a little bit of, of, of rip in, in some of these tokens. Rack off up 4.5%. There's, there's plenty going on there. Station, there's no governance proposals up right now. There is the Genuine Labs tax to gas implementation. If you scroll down here, 18 people now have voted yes. There's no no's in it so far. Looks like it's going to achieve kind of a consensus here over the next couple of days. And nobody's voting no. Nobody's abstaining. Nobody's no with veto. So I think we're in a good place to get tax to gas passed. Going to change the fundamental way that Luna Classic is calculated. Great idea. Uh, as far as volume goes, again, we're up 32%, down about 3% now. Looks like we've gotten a tiny bit of reversal. Uh, same thing over here with uh, USTC, down 6%, a little bit more aggressive and big trading. And remember, I told you guys, when it gets to two cents, I mean, this is kind of the buy zone. This is where, you know, if you're going to make a buy, this is the the spot where you're going to want to uh, say, yeah, you know what, this is the moment here where I want to get into some uh, USTC and see what I can do. Two cents is going to be the range. Uh, now, again, fundamentally, nothing has changed about the Luna Classic blockchain, and we have closure in this, and we're going to pick up new holders in this, and we're going to burn a significant amount of, of tokens of supply, if you will. So what's not to be bullish about that and and you know when you break this down we're we're going to be 100 i think it's 173 million the tokens that they're holding on to that's going to come out of this supply here leaving the circulating supply at around 6.6 .6 instead of 6.8 which you know it's not a huge amount but it is an amount and it is a big sort of amount it's not it's not tiny so uh, 10% would be 600 million right and we're burning um three percent of the supply basically so i mean get excited because that's a that's a, a big amount but continuing on uh burn tracker showing 290 million um everybody wants to see the burn happen uh so you're in good shape you're in, you're in a good spot again i got it wrong in saying that i was thinking that there was going to be a pump and that i thought that there would be a, an equitable settlement to allow terraform labs to continue not knowing that in the end, what the SEC wanted was they just wanted the heads of Terraform Labs and they wanted to scalp them and show them and display them for everybody to see. This was their um, kill shot, if you will, not to uh, not to steal from Swerve Strickland, but uh, this was their, their kill shot and they nailed that one. This is the only win. I mean, this is the only win that the SEC has really had in crypto for a year or so now the last one i think was kucoin or kraken uh, when they got a, a penalty there all the penalties and stuff they had to pay the legal fees for the last for debt box they had to pay the legal fees for debt box for uh egregious filing they had they lost to grayscale you know they're they're launching ets so you know the sec they they probably needed a win and they probably needed the sacrificial lamb and the fairness is uh, the the terraform labs people they did the the bad parts or they wouldn't have settled by the way they, they, they did the bad parts that the sec said you did so you know now we move on we're in a good spot so let's move on to uh the the things that you're going to need to 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 know and see and you know let me uh do what i'm you know what matter of fact let me actually tell you here uh so i've got staking rewards over here for you know not a whole lot but eighty-seven thousand. i'm gonna withdraw all the rewards right now and 
Uh, very, very simple, right? We're going to pay with um, we're going to pay with Lunk this time. Normally, by the way, I pay with USTC because that's just my preference. But what we're going to do, because I would like to just give you guys a sort of heads up here and say that I'm going to do exactly what I told you guys um, I think is a good idea. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, there we go. So we've got all of our, um, we've got all our stake rewards. I'm not restaking this. I'm holding on to this. I'm moving this over. And we're going to go to the max wallet over here. And I'm on Terraport. So I am encourage you, by the way, use Terraport. Remember, they're one of the big burners. When you go to this Lunk Burn Tracker, the top 100, there's two one, there's two that we want to talk about. Terra Casino, which now burned 333 million. And then Terraport Finance, which has burned 46 million. So I'm going to go over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this to USTC. And let's uh, max this out. So that's 527 USTC. And do I want to do that? Do I want to grab another 500 USTC? Well, you know, uh, it, if it's worth two cents right now, then it's not a lot, by the way. You know, this is this is many amounts that we're dealing with over here, not millions and millions. Those are staked, as you just saw. So we're going to do this. We're going to confirm this order. And we're going to flip this around, uh, post that. So... Um, all right, so we confirmed our transaction. Now we have 527 tokens uh, in USTC in addition to what we already had. So uh, we're good to go on this. Now, uh, the next thing is to just have a little faith and wait for a little while. I think it's going to 3x. And then when it 3x's, I'm going to move it back over to Luna Classic, flip it over. Hopefully it ends up being about a million uh, Luna Classic and then a uh, big win. You know what I mean? So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I know I meandered just a little bit. I'm a little upset by the fact that... that, that Luna Classic caved, um, especially since they've been very quiet about liability, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They haven't really, uh, you know, gotten into it. Uh, the one thing that I do want to say in closing is if you have not already, consider checking out Terra Casino. Again, one of the largest burners that there is. And if you want to, right here, you can see um, these are the tokens that you're able to, to use in order to uh, do some wagering here. Uh, it's Luna Classic, Terra, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Matic, by, uh, BUSD, USDC, uh, USDO, USDT, and Doge. So anything that you want to uh, in, in order to do it. And, and you can go to something like uh, the uh, like, like this game right here. We're going to real play right r real quick. And uh, we're going to get started here and we're going to make a, uh, let's let's do this. We're going to put this up here to, uh, we're just going to do one $4, no, we're going to do one $4 roll. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. So if you're interested, I would encourage you to go check this out. I mean, there, there's there's all kinds of different uh, risk-based games that you're able to play that will allow you to maybe maximize the potential that you have here uh, for, for yield and earning. If you want to get into bonus war, you have wars where you can uh, go against other people. Uh, then you have uh, actual uh, short and long trading over here uh, that you call wagers, and you get a payout multiplier of 20x of what you're wagering on price go up price go down uh right now you're choosing bitcoin you can do ethereum bnb matic turbo wave it's up to you it's your world baby all right anyway that's my time i know this again i know it's meandering just a little bit but again i'm upset about what happened here and hopefully uh, we'll see something improve but uh let me know what you think comments down below uh, take your shots right now because this is my first time in two years being wrong about what's going on with luna classic and the price so uh get your uh get your nine chuckles in right now because we're not going to do that again. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.